today I'm reviewing A Twisted Love Story by Samantha Downing. This will be a spoiler-free review. This is Downing's fourth thriller and I've given all of her previous thrillers four or five stars. In this one we're following an on and off again couple Wes and Ivy as they do different psychological things to torment each other and things get out of hand. First I'll talk about what worked for me in this book, then what didn't work for me, then I'll give my rating. The first thing that worked for me was the initial setup. We find out something that Ivy has done to Wes to torment him to kind of lure him back into a relationship with Ivy and it's intriguing at first and definitely sets the tone that things are going to get even more twisted and unhinged as the title and the plot description promises so I was definitely hooked right away in terms of this relationship what's really going on and what are the motives behind these two characters. In addition to following our main two characters we have two side characters one is a detective and one is the assistant at Wes's office and we're following their perspectives as well and I was more interested in the outsider's perspective since it was more clear what their motives were and they weren't kind of clouded in this relationship especially since we weren't sure where Wes and Ivy's heads were at it was more interesting to see what the motives behind the outsiders perspectives were and it seems like they were a little bit more rooted in reality instead of delusion however we really didn't get to hear that much from Bianca and the detective as I would have liked. It was definitely the Wes and Ivy show. Most of the page time was focused on Wes and Ivy. And then the third thing that worked for me was this highlighting of abusive relationships, what that might look like on the surface, and definitely promoting healthy relationships and promoting people who are doing the work, particularly the detective, in spotting people that are in abusive relationships and what that work looks like behind the scenes. So those are the three things that worked for me. Now moving into the things that didn't work for me, this book was unfortunately pretty boring and I think the weak pacing and weak characterization are what contributed to that. Our two main characters were quite childish. It wasn't fun being in their heads and seeing them get roped back into this relationship. It really felt like we were just following immature college students who were in their very first relationships, not people in their 30s adults. And so it wasn't really enjoyable. I think it would have been more enjoyable following these immature people if what they were doing was more twisted and manipulative, but it really didn't get to the level of twistedness that the title makes it seem like. It seems like we're gonna go into this territory of unimaginable things that they're doing to each other, but they were actually kind of subtle things that people do in movies or in everyday life. I was expecting and kind of waiting for something to make it warrant this title of a twisted love story, but we never really got there. I wasn't really interested in Wes and Ivy as individual people or in their relationship, and it wasn't really intriguing to follow them. And then regarding the weak pacing, what typically keeps me excited about thrillers and tend to go through them fast is if there is some type of underlying mystery that we're trying to figure out, or if there are reveals that are expertly paced to keep me reinvested or to keep me theorizing, but there really weren't any well-paced reveals. There wasn't really an underlying mystery about what was going on. It was kind of more just us following the ups and downs of this relationship. It wasn't us trying to uncover something. Yes, there are some events that happen that are more exciting than others, and there are more exhilarating scenes towards the end, but since there wasn't an underlying mystery we were trying to figure out, it was more just psychological back and forth, more like a psychological drama in a way. The pacing was pretty slow and there weren't really any reveals that were given to us to keep wanting to read. So I was pretty bored during this and the main reason that I kept reading was because I thought we were going towards somewhere really exciting, such as in Downing's previous books where she's had some pretty vindictive character twists at the end, particularly in He Started It, I remember that ending very vividly, and particularly For Your Own Good and My Lovely Wife, I really enjoyed rooting for these main characters who were evil because it was leading up to somewhere, but in the case of this one I didn't really have those elements like I did with her previous books. So it kind of felt like we were going back and forth in a cat and mouse type thing of like, okay, what's Wes gonna do this time? What's Ivy gonna do this time? They're just doing different things to each other to mess with each other, but it didn't really feel original or like we were leading anywhere. So even though this was billed as a psychological thriller, it felt more like this should have been some type of drama. I, th I feel like this was more of a literary suspense or a drama and definitely felt way different than her other books in terms of tone and pacing. Another thing I was asking myself was why was this written or needed in 2023? It almost felt like this could have been published five years ago or more and it would have felt the same. It didn't feel like it was doing anything fresh to the psychological thriller genre or fresh in terms of commentary of abusive relationships that we've seen in other books. So for all those reasons this was a disappointment and I'm giving this one two stars. 
stars. This one's definitely my least favorite book of Downing's. My ratings for Downing's books would be For Your Own Good, My Lovely Wife, He Started It, and then A Twisted Love Story. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on this book and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!